and you see the title, we gonna do 24 hours of only gas station food. So I'm not even gonna waste no time, man. I'm gonna go get me some breakfast. All right, man, so the first stop I'm gonna be making is Royal Farms for breakfast. I'm gonna go see what they got. All right, so here we are. We at the Royal Farms. It's time to see what's up with this breakfast menu because I don't think I've ever gotten no breakfast food from Royal Farms. I'm not a coffee drinker, but they say they got the world's freshest coffee. So I think I'll be the judge of that. So I just got back in the whip and got all the food. Of course, the one time I'm not recording, the whole store, the whole power just went out, completely out, and nobody knew what to do. The one time I'm not recording, I was, oh my goodness. But here we have it, we got the food. Now it's time to take it back to the crib. All right, and here we are with the food, man. Most of the cheese came up off of the sandwich when I was unwrapping it. Got the two hash browns, steaming hot, and we got the coffee, the Reese's Cup coffee. So it's time to see what this is about. All right, so here we go. We're gonna try this out. First, we're gonna try the hash brown. It look a little, I don't know. I guess we're gonna try it out. Not very crispy. And really not that much flavor. I guess maybe I'm used to like McDonald's hash browns, Tim Hortons hash browns, but this, nah, it's not cutting it. Now I gotta try out the coffee. They claim it's the world's freshest coffee. So I gotta see what's up. We got the Reese's cup coffee, so. Oh, it, you can't mess that up. Yeah, this bus, this is nice. Oh my goodness, that's insane. I might actually have to start getting that from now on. That's actually hard. And now we're gonna try out the sandwich. It's got the chicken tenders on there with the eggs and cheese. So, let's see what's up. This one was very hot. Based off of the first bite, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm gonna try the other one. This one, I should be able to get more chicken in a bite as well. Yeah, that's actually very good. I'm glad I picked this out for breakfast. The hash browns, I could definitely pass on, but I am going to finish them. But this, I give it a 9 out of 10. This coffee, 10 out of 10. The hash browns, 1 out of 10. All right, so I finished up all the food. Overall, I'm going to say it was a 7 out of 10 meal. The hash browns was absolutely garbage, but... The breakfast sub and the coffee was bang. So I'm gonna get up with y'all when I get to my next meal, which will be lunch. All right, man, so I've been going about my day and now I'm a little hungry. I'm ready to go get some lunch. So I'm gonna catch y'all at the next gas station. All right, bro, we at the next location. Got this place here called Pizza Boys. Gotta get the bag. They told me about 25 minutes to the pizza ready. That's crazy. It's a gas station, bro. It better be some gourmet type pizza, bro, because that's really wild. But we got the lemonade, man. Ooh, ooh. No, it just tastes like straight water, bro. Mm. I guess we got the pizza. Give it a first bite. This joint is definitely some gourmet type pizza, so. 
I'm not mad about a 25 minute. And the cheese crazy like a commercial, man. That's an easy 10 out of 10. But definitely with the drink, trash. But all together, it's gotta be at least an eight out of 10. This pizza's fine. Man, that pizza was mad good, bro. I'm gonna have to start eating that. I, I, I don't know if I ever had that before. That joint was good. I don't recognize this gas station at all. My parents was like telling me some different gas stations I could try out. So I was like, shoot, I'm gonna try it. So that's what I did. And it was, oh shit. I'm gonna head back home. I'm gonna hit y'all when I get to the next gas station though. And I'm back. We had another gas station, man, for dinner. I'm feeling a quesadilla. So we at Wawa. I'm going to go in there, go get the food, and then I'm going to be back. We're going to eat it right here, right now. Hey, we lit. Hey, man. Say it ain't so. We got the Wawa Quesa. Yeah. Oh my goodness, with the chicken in it. With the chicken in it. With the chicken in it. I'm finna eat this joint right here, smack dab, in the car. Hey, that's how I'm feeling, twin. We about to eat good. Oh man. I can't lie though, my stomach is already hurting from gas station food. Like, I don't know if it's something they put in it or what, or it's just a bad selection of food I've made today. Let me know down in the comments at the end of the video, like, if you think I had a good, like, decision of different variety of choices of food today. You know what I mean? But boom, we got the chicken and cheese quesadilla. I know y'all see that, it's steaming hot too. So we gonna get that first bite, get y'all a review. But I'm not a rapper. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to go a cool, calm, seven and a half out of five. Hey pal. You just blowing from stupid town? The little 7.5 is good. That's above average. Like, you know what I mean? Five out of 10 is average. So like, it's a little above average. I say it's all right. The cheese is like almost liquid for real. But this is fire. This is definitely fire. I don't even know if I can eat all this for real. My stomach real deal is not feeling the best from all this gas station food, but I'm already knowing I'm gonna probably be hungry for real later in the night. So it would have did, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat the rest of this up for my dinner. Yeah, I man. Matter of fact, on a second bite, it might be an 8.5 instead of a 7.5. That's definitely good. Mm, 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 mm. And just like that, we had the last bite of the meal, and then we get to go back to the crib. Mm, mm, mm. I gotta give it that chef's kiss. Oh no, say it ain't so. Your boy Noah is coming to another gas station. Hey man, you know how it be when it be late night. You gotta get you a snack, bro. And I can't just eat any ordinary snack. I gotta go to the gas station to eat. So looks like what I'm doing right now. Hey man, so look at what it is. We got. Calypso, if y'all know what Calypso is, then you, you 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 know what I'm talking about. Then we got the strawberry wafers, yes sir. And then last but not least, at all the sour Skittles. Oh my goodness, them things hit. But hey, but the biggest mistake I be seeing people do is they don't be shaking the Skittles before they eat it. Yo. How are you not gonna shake the Skittles while you eating them? That's what that's what creates the actual good taste. If you if you just eat them without shaking them, bro, what are you doing? The strawberry wafers, obviously they hit. It's, come on now. I'm gonna go hit the crib, go eat it there. We're gonna give a review. I see you when I get there. Hey man, we Back at the Kremski. Now it's time to review what we got. Cause I'm actually very interested. All right. 
Oh my goodness, this smell crazy. Like, like yo. It say taste of the islands and all that. But bro, like this actually smells tropical, like no joke. Nah, that's crazy. Yo, yo, the aftertaste too is nuts. What? Yo, bro, my goodness. I don't know, oh, this, this is different. I haven't had a drink like this before. Oh my goodness. This is like every fruit combined and like, and then you just throw it in some lemonade. Like what? Man. All right, next, we're gonna go with the strawberry wafers. These were my favorite growing up, bro. No joke. I would anytime I would stop at a gas station. Anytime. It don't matter if it was if we was on a long road trip and I stopped twice throughout the day, I get them every time. Every stop at a gas station, I would get these, bro. They was my all-time favorites. Man. So good. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I haven't had these in so long. So long. This, like, just taking a bite of these just bring me back to, like, when I was 10 years old, bro. <laughs> Boy, so far it's 10 out of 10. No joke. 10 out of 10. Man, when I was at the gas station, the last one, yo, this dude was inside talking to another dude. They was like catching up and everything. And he was like, hey, you pulled up in that Lincoln out there, right? Hey, I'm gonna talk to you when I get outside. So boom, they was going out there. I'm like, sure, what? what's about to go on? But bruh, tell me why. I look, I get in my car, boom, I'll start pulling out. I look over the dude who supposedly has a Lincoln. He and he, he's sitting outside of his Challenger. Those are two totally separate brands and everything, bro. Like, Dodge Challenger looks nothing like any Lincoln models out there, bro. I don't know what this dude was talking about. <sighs> Got the sour Skittles, not these. If you ain't been put on to these, man, I don't know what to tell you. Like I said, you gotta shake them. This might be my favorite out of all the gas station stops tonight. It's close with the pizza. That that pizza for lunch was tight. But this, all this, I don't know if there's a if there's a if there's any better combination out there. Mm. Perfect late night snack. But one more thing I wanted to say about Wawa. I don't know about you. I don't know how often you go to Wawa or anything. But bro, I never been to a Wawa where the workers who like make the food aren't working. Like they're always just working their butt off, bro. They never taking a break, nothing. They, like it's constant people. Cause people be going there for lunch, dinner, breakfast, snack, everything, and just be ordering food. Boo, 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 boo. Just like I did. But like, dang, bro. They be going hard. I don't like, it's crazy. Hey man, but that's gonna do it. I just went 24 hours only eating gas station food. My stomach ain't feeling the best tomorrow. Whew, hopefully feel better. That's gonna wrap it up. If you have any other challenge videos for me, let me know in the comments. I can easily do any challenge. Other than that, man, it's been your boy.